The BVLZ Brick Veneer Ledger Connector System from Simpson StrongTie is a code-listed solution for attaching ledgers to wood-framed houses with brick veneer. Ideal for rebuilds, retrofits, and new projects, this cost-effective system allows for installation without demolition or replacement of existing brick veneer. The BVLZ eliminates the need for posts near the house by transferring load to the structure, creating a clean, less obstructed view. This system is load rated with spacing tables engineered to meet prescriptive IRC joist span ratings. The brick veneer ledger connector system includes the installation template, ledger plate, compression strut, two 14-inch strong drive SDWH timber hex HDG screws, six one and one half inch SD9 connector screws, and three eighth inch and one quarter inch driver bits. Here are the tools and equipment you'll need to install the BVLZ. Successful installation of the BVLZ depends on variables such as existing rimboard connection, interior floor joist orientation, ledger size, relationship of ledger height to rimboard height, and gap distance between ledger and rimboard. The BVLZ accommodates gaps from four and three quarter inches up to six and one quarter inches. If half inch plywood sheathing is attached, the gap between the ledger and sheathing must be between four and one quarter inches and five and three quarter inches. To begin, snap a chalk line to ensure level for the bottom of the ledger. Snap an additional chalk line at the vertical location of the compression struts. Next, per spacing requirements for your deck, mark drilling locations by placing the installation template at each ledger plate position along the veneer so that the upper chalk line is centered through the masonry holes in the template. For easier installation, mark at the mortar joint if possible. Drill horizontally through the center mark with a 1 and 1 8 inch masonry bit. Stop when you feel the bit pass through the veneer. Next, drill pilot holes on the left and right to a depth of approximately 3 8 of an inch. Then complete the holes at a 40 degree angle. Repeat for each plate location. Next, determine where each plate will be installed on the ledger board. Spacing on the board should match spacing on the veneer. Position the installation template at the first location on the ledger board. Mark the appropriate drilling locations. Using a 1 and 1 8 inch wood drill bit, drill straight through the center hole. Then, drill 40 degree angled holes for the SDWH screws on the left and right. Repeat the process at each plate location on the board. Next, thread a compression strut into the back of a ledger plate, leaving enough space to adjust later per your job dimensions. Place the BVLZ at the leftmost position on the ledger board. The strut will pass through the center hole and the plate will sit flush. Install all six SD connector screws in the small holes to secure the plate to the board. Then, repeat plate installation on the rightmost position. Place the ledger board against the brick veneer, ensuring that the compression struts of the two attached plates enter their respective pre-drilled holes. Hand thread the 14-inch SDWH screws through the ledger plate, angled upwards at the required 40 degrees. With the head of the screw pushing down and the shaft of the screw pushing up into the gusset channel, Insert the screw until it touches the rim board. Tap the head to set the screw, then drive the screw. Rotate compression struts with pliers until tight against the framing. Finally, install the remaining BVLZs along the length of the ledger. More questions? Visit strongtie.com slash BVLZ.